Hello and welcome back to our continuing Settlement Survival New Trade System series. I'm Larry, it's episode 31, and we are getting closer and closer to our great temple, which will be our, excuse me, our great palace, which is going to be awesome. I cannot wait for this to get up there and have it built. Now, it is kind of weird because not having any game music, it's a little quiet, which is a little no fun. It's not as fun, but what can you do? I just, I don't want to deal with uh, all the copyright issues. So, yeah. Now, where are we at with our ships? Okay, why is this one still preparing? Oh, no. What? I think I messed this one up. Because I think I set that thing up when I thought I still had all those gems. And I think uh, I kind of messed that one up. Yeah, we have no gems. <laughs> That is a bad thing. <laughs> well, tell you what, let's uh, let's improve their efficiency a little bit, and we'll strengthen them up. So yeah, that wasn't. I don't think that was good planning on my part. <laughs> but it is what it is. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. You just do what you do, and hopefully you can get away with it. Unfortunately, this time I didn't. So maybe we should turn around and... Oh, I wonder if I should build another one. But what I have a feeling it's going to need mats that... Oh, no, it won't need the mats. So let's... Okay, that's the obsidian mine. We want the gem mine. And yeah, we'll be good on this. So let's turn this thing around. And what does in it like down? Oh, we have a little bit of a road sitting there sticking out. Oh, we'll get rid of that. And then let's go ahead and get this thing built. Because, yes, can I delete that thing? I could. But that's no fun. And we'll hit this with a quick terraforming tool. Let's see if we have some better placement now. Oh, I highly recommend once you get the, the dig tool and the terraforming tool, the map is so much easier to play with. It is so nice. Let's give this a little space right there. Make it look a little prettier. I wonder if I can come out one. Nope. Okay, so right there. And they'll get this thing built right up. And that'll get us some more gems, which is exactly what we want. Now, this one has 15 days left, which is good. And this one's... Wait a minute. Did I have two of these preparing? Oh no! That's not good. How did I do that? I completely foobarred that. That is... That is a bad Larry. Yes. Oh... Okay, how can I, uh... Hmm... You know what? I'll do this. I'll dismiss this one. Because this has... Well, that... Okay, that has 6,688. This one has... Yeah, we'll go ahead and dismiss this one. We'll dismiss that one. That will free up our, gem, our gems to get this one loaded up and going. Ooh, I have two caravans that I can send out. Yay. 
So let's go ahead and let's get two more rocking. And of course we have to check on our prices first because I want as much brick as I can buy. So that's nine, that's eight. Ooh, 6.8. Rania, you're my buddy. So let's go ahead and form a caravan. We'll go to Rania. We will buy, oh, wait a minute, was it there? No, that was iron ore. So we'll go over to construction materials. We'll buy the brick, which is, what is it? Oh, 2000, was it 2050? No, 2450, 25, no, 2520. I said, you know, I keep promising that I'm going to write it down and I don't. So it's 2420. There we go. 2420. We'll purchase that and we'll go ahead and sell our silver. which should be 2420. We'll sell that. We'll buy insurance, close that, send that off. Woohoo. So let's get the other one sent off before Rania decides to uh, up the price on us, which you know they'll do. See, price already went up. Okay, let's time to redo the price here. No, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's Mao. So Rania, yeah, you have to you have to make sure you're trading with the right person. I still am making that mistake. Because you expect it to stay, you know, memorized. I mean, how many other games were in, you're doing menus like this? What do you mean? What do you mean it's too heavy to purchase? Buy. Brick. 2,420. Oh, this one. Oh, that's right. It, this has to be 2,400 because for some reason this dock is 100 pounds less. And I still have not figured out why. So then we'll go to our ore and we'll do 2,400 because I still have plenty of ore, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> And that's good. So we'll sell that, get our insurance, and we'll form that. Okie dokie. That is good. See, where I barely was doing any type of trading before, now it's like, pff, we're not doing enough trading. And here, ooh, we have some caravans that we can form. But how much are we off? Hmm. Let's go ahead and I'll buy. Let's buy some more planks. So we got to do the pricing thing again. But doing it this way. Oh, you don't have to worry about setting up a ton of stuff. Once you have, uh, the gems rocking, silver rocking. I haven't even started on the gold sand yet. But once we have that, just in those those items, you can pretty much buy anything you want. You're going to become a millionaire. That's just, it's so nice. Okay, which caravan came home? I want to see what they're dropping off. I just wish it would give like a caravan name. Or something. So those are preparing. Okay, this one's dropping. 
Okay, now I am really confused. This one is preparing. This one's already taken off. Days left. Days left. So it had to have been one of the ones that was here. But I don't know. This is getting confusing. Let's go over to here. Ooh, it was planks, 2,554. And how many are we short? Oh, we're gonna have plenty of planks. That's no big deal. Because if they deliver that off, then we have that. So let's go ahead and get them to pack out Oh, yeah, we have to do pricing. So let us check out. They, they still want, Rania still has not lowered the price on brick. Okay. If that's what you want to do, then more power to you. And we'll go ahead and we will sell our silver again and for this one it's what uh 1020 yes so we'll sell that close we'll buy brick We'll buy brick as soon as I can find it. There we go. So 1,020 of this. We'll purchase that. Close that. And rinse and repeat. And there we go. Hopefully, this will be enough to see us through. And this is where I wish we had times 20. So we could get all this stuff taken care of. So, it's just going to be just a matter of the caravans coming back. And life will be good. Now let's see how our gem mine is going. It is somewhere around here. And it is built. So we'll just go ahead and toss 10 more people in over here. And we will strengthen it up. And that should help. Now, did that other... Oh, it's still short. Hmm. Well, that is just not nice. Now, is it? So, this one came back. So, if that one came back... How's our, con oof, we have 5,173 brick. That means I think we have enough. It's just going to be a matter of them getting it transported. 5,175. Oh no, we're not going to have enough. Well, that's actually not true because we do have these other ships and this one's going to be back in 190 days 
and this one's going to be back in 263 days. So as long as I don't hit pause, we should have this thing built by the end of this episode. At least I'm hoping that would be really cool if we would. Because I'm looking forward to it. It just, I have not yet seen it built yet. From everybody that I follow and all that, nobody has built this thing. And I would, I really want to see it. I want to see it in action. But what other cool things can we build from our faction? So let's, let's pop up factions. What other cool things here? Okay, this is just a paper mill, so that's no big deal. This is just another school, so eh. We are building, we built these. These are great. And I, this is what the theater, so eh. And this we already built. And this is, this is a baby maker. Let me go show it to you. This is, it's over here. This thing is big, but it's beautiful. I mean, that is, that is a kind of a pretty building there. It has a little table in there. What other fun things? It has some uh, yard decorations. Oh, yeah. That works. So, look at what this thing does. Okay, it puts in non breedable people. So, up to five families, and none of them are breedable people except for one. Really? That is a. Okay, so this is not going to be a baby factory over here. Aww, I'm disappointed. That's a bummer. What can we do, though? Now, there's one thing I have figured out about the merchant ship. The only thing it's good for, animals. Other than that, it is, it's, it's not worth it. Now, if you want to sell to them, that's a different story. Because when you look at the pricing, he's not always the best price. The sale price and the buy price, eh. It just, it's just not worth it. So, buyer beware. If you're going to be trading stuff, you know, that's like right now. He wants 30, uh, 34 book, right? So, go over here to pricing and just check out books. Because then you can decide, do you really want to... Uh, buy from him. So it should be uh, raw materials, timber, books. Okay, I could sell the books for a profit to Carlos, but only a four silver profit. Other than that, I could buy from Mao five. I mean, uh, almost make five silver off it. So, yeah. He's not worth it. So, the only animals you should be buying from him are the ones that you can't get off the map. And if you can, don't special order the animals. Just watch the trade chips come in. Because uh, the animals that I had did not have to order were only like 4,000. So... It's, I picked up, what, two animals, I think it was. I think it was 9000 from the merchant ship, but if I special ordered it, it was going to cost me 45000 So, you know, buyer beware. It, it's, it's really, it's, it's no fun. But, you know, people have been asking, you know, which ones, if I'm starting out the trade, where should I go to first? And that is, it, it's, I liked Mao because the tofu 
was a simple food. And by and all you had to do is uh soybean and uh a mill. So, you know, that's pretty cool. But the big thing is is getting into these dense forests, dense farms. That is that is absolutely worth getting up to a level three skill. But then when you look at Lorenzo, Lorenzo, okay. You get into hardwood, which is, it's nice, but the quick hunting, especially if you're having problems getting the animals on your map, then this might be a skill. He might be the the first one you want to go after because if you have animals on your map that you want to get, the quick hunting, I tell you what, is fantastic. I, I I cannot believe how many messages I have received with how much my hunters have keep on finding, you know, the turkeys, the buffaloes, the geese, you know, everything on the map. I'm getting messages all the time. So, yeah, it's it's absolutely worth uh, going after this skill. Now... Do you go to level three and unlock the pastures? Because let's face it, for a food source, turkeys and fish, you know, the fish pond, they will, <laughs> look how much food I have right now. I have so much food I don't even know what to deal with. It's insane. So that's that's good. Now, Rania... You have the gem mine, and that's great to trade with. But if you're first starting out the game, I don't know if you really would want to go for her. That's She can get you better pricing, but eh, I'm thinking of what you can actually do in-game, which would make a difference. Now, Carlos here. Carlos, I really like, because... You get the cactus thing, so right off the bat, you now have something for cactus juice, which is better than spirits. You have cactus cuts, which is another rough food, but now you have animal fodder. So you don't have to have corn or any other bean to make animal fodder. So you could really improve your buffalo. You can improve everything right off this so that's nice but then you can get into using rope for xp or generating uh your development points you have the obsidian mine so you get to sell stuff but then the big thing is at level four you can get trade seeds Ooh, trade seeds are awesome and then here, at level 5, you get 100% output from the silver mine and the gold shack. So you want to talk about having tons of money to trade with. That's like, wow. So where are we at here? We're halfway on our bricks. And we have... 7,000 in reserve. So this is just going to be a matter of them getting from the reserves and transporting. So I don't know why it's taking them so long. I have plenty of builders. I mean, the builders that I have, we just go over here and look. Builders, I have 69 of them. Well, I have plenty. Now, why is it? Do I not have all my building maxed out? I thought I did. That's no good. We must fix that. So, there are so many things on the map now, it's crazy. I mean, on this toolbar. Okay, we only have two over here. No, 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 no. We'll do that there. 
And do we have any other blue boxes around here? Okay, six over there. That's fine. Come on. We must find blue boxes. There's six on that one. Ah, four in this one. Shame on you. There we go. And there's six in that one. As you can see, I'm killing time while they give them a chance to deliver everything. And we don't have six in this one. There we go. I think that should be all. But then every time I start thinking, my wife just kind of like glares at me. What are you doing? I'm thinking, honey. And she's like, no, don't do that. Just play your game and be good. <laughs> I'm like, thanks a lot, dear. Love you too. So. I don't see any more. Let's see how well I did. Eh. Three. I am. Eh. Let's see how far they are. Come on, guys. Really? It can't be that difficult. Where are all the brick? I wish I could do a search feature and find all brick. No brick here. Hmm. Oh, this isn't connected. How much you want to bet they're taking that road? And it's slowing them down. Let's fix that. There we go. I don't know what else could be slowing them down. Hmm. You know, this whole no music thing is driving me nuts. It is so quiet. And when I can sit there and hear myself think, it's that's kind of a scary thought. <laughs> oh, that's the repair shop. I got all excited, like, oh, I found it! And it's the repair shop. Yeah, having 356 people, I can pretty much do what I want. I should plant some more trees. That'll give me something to do. Let's plant trees. We'll hit H here. And we will put a road in. Or should we? Yeah, this whole... My little concept here of trying to maximize space. It doesn't work. I realize that... There's things as... You know, where things can be close. But... Then it gets to a point to where it's just counterproductive trying to place a church and all that other fun stuff. So you could actually maximize space and go the different route. And that's, that's what I'm going to do the next map is we have to do something like that. Okay, so we need dense forests. Oh, that's right. I keep forgetting we don't have to stretch these things. Okay, I want trees there. So, let's go ahead and put some trees there. I like the trees. The trees are pretty. So, we have that. And, they have a road. And yeah, it's good enough. Where are we at here? Oh, come on. Seriously? We have the mats. You cannot deny me this. I want it done now. What is everybody doing? Ugh. 
The roads are not that bad. Come on. I don't want to turn this into a road building episode, guys. But I tell you what, these obsidian roads, for some reason, they build these things like crazy. I mean, they're fast builders. I don't know if there's a bonus involved, but they're just like, they'll just start tearing through this. Now, I know you're like, well, Larry, if you build roads, then you're not going to, to build the that palace or whatever it is, that great market. And it's like, yeah, they will. Because... One, the laborers are supposed to help out. And it looks like the laborers aren't helping out. So somewhere there's a disconnect. I don't know what it is, but somebody's saying, uh, work slowage, you didn't pay us, or some nonsense. So they're like, nope, we're not doing it. Yeah, you guys go away. See, look at that. Look how fast they're building the road. They're just like, they're like warping over to it. And they're barely doing anything. And I cannot, for the life of me, figure out why. There's nothing, there's no inventory in here. Nothing. So it's live, but where's it at? It's not there. Is it in this one way over here? There's clay. Oh, there's 3,116 brick here. Guys. What are you doing to me? Okay. How can I speed them up? What are they doing? I guess I could put in a bridge over here. That would probably speed things up a little bit. Do there. And it's funny that you don't have a jade road. So we have that. I mean, with the Jade Road, shouldn't we have a Jade Bridge? I'm just saying. Uh, I don't like it. I think it this way. Because I want something to go in here. Okay, so we have that. And then they should be hitting nothing but Jade Roads. Okay, unless they took this road, which might have slowed them down. Excuse me, obsidian roads, not jade. So scratch everything I said before, where, where I'm talking obsidian. Okay, we have that. And a merchant ship has arrived. Yay, merchant ship. So we have that. And we're right there. Okay. I'm seeing horses over this way, so somebody's going this route. So we'll get that one there. And we'll get... I just heard a tank. How can there be a tank? I don't recall building anything. Oh, yeah, I did. I built, I built that uh, forest farm. Didn't I? That's what the tink was. Mm, nope. What else did I build? I don't recall building anything else. Oh, they wouldn't have. Hey, no. Nah. If I go up there and it's built, I'd, I'd be amazed. I don't think it is. So I'm not going to get everybody excited like, Oh, we got it built. Yay. No. Nah. 
And I'm going to take this episode long. I want this thing built. But alas, it's teasing us. It's not going to happen. Not in this episode. We're already at 35 minutes. And this is just so wrong. But at least we got a lot of trading in. And I, I showed you stuff on trading. So life is good. Kind of. Right? We built some roads. <laughs> when a good plan just falls flat on its face, then you get one of my episodes. Yay. <laughs> I guess I should get rid of this wood bridge. I guess that would make sense. Oh, you know what happened? And we'll address it in the next episode. But... Ooh, that's about ready to come in. Ah, uh, I ran out of uh, manure again. We have nothing. We have none of that. That is like, no. And I bought, I bought, I actually, I had chipped in a bunch of poop. And I don't know what happened to it all. They could, you know, they could have burned through it. That's possible. But, oh well. So that's going to be for this episode. I know it wasn't exciting. There it is. See? Look at all this. I told them they can't keep up. And there's still a little bit of animal dung left. So, because I had brought in like 36,000 animal dung. And... Uh, I had brought in like 24,000 fertilizer. So, yeah. I tell you what. The trade strategy works. That I originally said, you know, using silver and all that. Absolutely works perfect. Perfect. So, anyway. Hopefully everybody's having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. Be safe, happy, and healthy. And I will talk to you in the next episode. Bye.